Hello YouTube, this is the machine I'm going to modify. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on how this machine works because the company does have videos on YouTube. You can see that I'll snap a picture probably that. Okay, when we first got this it had variable speed. It never worked very well. So what we did was we just used our Variac and turned it all the way up. Well then we had a problem with it. This has been sitting around for years. Took it apart and just bypassed the variable speed, whatever's in the thing, and we just use our variac. So, this is the top that you would use the cutting blade for. Okay, this is diamond on the outer eighth of an inch or so, and on the edge, uh, you will probably burn your thumb cutting a rock or something before you'll cut it. So you'll feel yourself hitting the blade. So it's not too dangerous to use. You still should have some little thumb guards or something. So we'll move that out of the way. <clears throat> and we'll show real quick. Here is the top if you want the table, which I'll be showing, the little uh, diamond disc. It will set this way. There's a water container up here that drips water down in here. So that's if you have the little flat diamond plates. Okay, and this is a little thing. I can't find it right now. There's a piece in here that has a sponge in it. It's just a piece of plastic holds a sponge and it stays wet. And that is for this. There's a diamond grindstone. Probably snap a photo of that. I think that'll show up good enough. Okay, that's the basic parts of this machine. It's got three different things you can do. So let's get this out of my way. Let's just put this out of my way just to get it out of here. Okay, what this does is you can either have it down in here for the blade or you can have it this way for these flat diamond discs. Okay, I have a 170, a 325, which is on here now, a 600 and a 1200. Okay, so I have that many different grits. We have experimented with this. We took an actual wood chisel. We had some water sprayed with a spray bottle, just soapy water. Somewhere I have a bottle of coolant. It's like oil that mixes with water that drips. Like we just sprayed soapy water and we did pretty well. We do have a mark on here because when we was experimenting with that top, it hit the aluminum and that will not come out of there. I have pecked at that with a sewing needle even. So there's how that works. Okay, let's make sure this is tight and we'll run the motor on the Variac. Make sure that's tight. Walk on this side. So I get better speeds this way. This thing is not balanced the greatest. You can tell, see how it's taken off. I end up running it on lower speeds. That's why I want to make some kind of uh, machine myself to hold all this instead of this plastic stuff. So now I have whatever infinite, infinite, big words, amount of speeds. I probably never run it that fast. Shut that off for safety. You can see everything's falling down here. It vibrates so bad. A lot of the problems with this machine, and I did see a YouTube video where this is a clear plastic. <clears throat> the problem with this machine is <coughs> it's not these discs. Excuse me. It's finally warming up. We've had rain, and this loosens the opposite. It loosens to the right. Backwards threads. Yeah, let's drop everything. This is actually the problem. If I had something better than this that was more balanced, a uh, person could probably put it in a lathe. But as you can see, this hole slops. You never get it centered with the blade. It's way better with the blade. The blade does not slop back and forth. So the problem is in this, and you have to have a backing plate on it. I would not want to use this and press on it, warp this. They are flexible can flex it a certain amount so I would not want to use that that so a lot of it comes down to just the speed of it 
Okay, let's get this out of the way. We don't want this video to be too long. It's out of the way so you can see that. We just want to make something that will hold it like this or like this. Probably most will be using it this way. And there goes that whistle. We'll pause for a second. Okay, we'll just probably catch the tail end of it there. That means lunch is over. We want to make something that will hold it like this. If we do any grinding on metal or anything. But we'll have to have some cover. We don't want water on this. So we're going to make something to hold it this way. And we could still do the same thing as the plastic and have it this way to work. So we want to eliminate all this. We, we've lost interest in cutting grinding rocks. This has probably been stored away for uh, not quite 10 years. but. So here's your little stone there, which I'll snap a picture of, which I have no idea what that cost. I know at the time these are about $25 a piece, so we want to make them last. But we have done a wood chisel on here, which is pretty hard steel. It did not hurt it. Said so the only mess I made is when I had it in that top. When I tried modifying and widening this widening made it whiter it hit got some aluminum on it so no baggy deal stuff happens but there you go that's what this machine looks like that way in the future I make a project everybody will know where this came from so thanks for watching